Hello there and welcome to a Partners in Crime tutorial on how to make After Effects style flares in Blender using Blender and GIMP. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is open up GIMP. If you don't have GIMP, you can find the download link for it in the description. It is free and open source software. Okay. Takes a while to load up here. Okay. Now what you want to do is create a new image. So click File, and then click New, and I'm going to make the width and height 2,220. Click Advanced Options, and next to Fill With, you want to select Foreground Color. Okay. Now, click Filters, Light and Shadow, and click Supernova. Make the center of the Nova 1110 on both the X and Y values here. And drag the color of the Supernova down to black. Okay. Increase the radius. So that's a bit bigger. Increase the amount of spokes. And increase the random hue. Click OK. Now I have a nice makeshift flare there. I'm going to export this flare as a PNG so that we can use it in Blender. So click File, and then click Export. I'm just going to export it to the desktop and name it First Flare. Click Export. Alright, now I'm going to undo the last t operation here and I'm going to reshow Supernova and Let's see, increase the radius a bit more, decrease the number of spokes, and increase the random hue. Looks about good. Alright, now I'm going to export this one also as a PNG. I'm going to name it Second Flare. Okay, now I'm going to undo the last operation, and I'm going to make a, another supernova, just so we have some variety in our flares. Okay, I'm going to decrease the number of spokes, and increase the random hue again, and click OK. Now I'm going to export this one. And I'm going to name it Third Flare. Make sure the files are saved as PNGs. Click Export. Okay. Now that we're done with our GIMP file, I'm going to exit it. I've already exported the PNG files. I'm going to close without saving, but you can save the file if you want. Exit GIMP and open Blender. I'm going to turn on screencast keys so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, now delete the default cube by pressing X and clicking delete. Press numpad 1 on your keyboard and then press Control alt 0 to bring the camera into front view. Now I'm going to add a plane. So click Add, Mesh, Plane. Rotate the plane 90 degrees on the X axis by pressing R and then X and then 90. Press Enter. GY to move it up on the Y axis. Okay. Go into the Materials section add a new material and then go into the texture section 
and add a new texture. Change the texture type to image or movie and click open. Go to wherever you save the files. I saved my files to my desktop and I'm going to select first flare here. Shift S if your cursor ever goes from the center. Press Shift S and press cursor to center. Okay, scroll down in the texture section here. Let's see, under Influence and Diffuse, check Alpha. Click Image Sampling and check Calculate under Alpha and Use. Okay. Go into the Material section. Make the material emit by 1 and check Transparency and bring the Alpha and Specularity down to 0. Now I go into the Texture section change the viewport shading to texture uh, viewport shading section here and press in click display and under shading change it from multi texture to GLSL so now you can see the flare that we've just created in GIMP okay now let's see press G to move it up here scale it up a bit Go into the layer section, click our first layer, and name it Red Flare, because we're going to be making this flare red. Okay, now I'm going to go into the world settings, change the horizon color to black, and let's see what we have here. As you can see, that's our flare right there. I'm going to go into the compositor, make it look better. Check use nodes and check backdrop add output viewer and I'm going to add filter glare change it to fog low change the quality to high and bring the threshold down to zero Okay. Now I'm going to add color RGB curves, hook it up after the fog glow, and hook up to the viewer node. Now you can see our our flare there. Bring the color up on the RGB curves. I'm going to lower the red levels and heighten the blue levels. Now you see we have a nice blue flare there. Alright, now what I'm going to do to make this flare down here is I'm going to add a ghost glow node. So I'm going to duplicate our fog glow node and change it from fog glow to ghost. So as you can see our flare just goes diagonally down here. I'm going to go back to texture shading down here, scale up our flare a bit. We render that. Alright, now we have a larger flare there. I'm going to go back into default view. Ooh, go back into the compositor. This is supposed to be our red flare, so I'm going to lower the blue levels and heighten the red levels. There we go. Alright. Now I'm going to press F11 to go back into. 3D view, and I'm going to go back into the layer section and add two more layers. Our second layer will be our blue flare. And our third layer will be a hmm, green flare. Click the second layer for the blue flare, and the third layer for the green flare. Shift D to duplicate your flare. Press M on your keyboard, move it to the second layer. This will be our blue flare. Shift D to duplicate our flare once again. This one will be our green flare. And we'll move this to the third layer. Now I'm going to hold down Shift and select the third layer here. And I'm going to render all of these layers. Alright. Now I'm going to add 
in add nodes so press add color mix look it up there change it to add now I'm going to duplicate all of these nodes here so I'm going to press B to box select and drag my cursor over these nodes shift D to duplicate moving downwards select blue fair for this one hook it up to our add node shift D to duplicate our add node again B to box select shift D to duplicate these nodes here hook it up to our add node and I'm going to change this to green flare alright now I'm going to make our blue flare here lower the red levels and heighten the blue levels alright now for a green flare I will lower the red levels Tighten the green levels. And we have our flares. Alright. So now that we've made our flares, you want to save your file. And I will probably make a tutorial on how to animate these flares in the future, but for now, this was just how to get the flares in Blender. Okay, so thanks for watching and subscribe for more tutorials from partners in coordinated rendering of ideas, motion, and effects.